guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today because today's video is going to be following a Scott Barnes makeup tutorial. And if you don't know who that is, it's JLo's makeup artist. And he recently, well actually he didn't recently do Tati's makeup. He did it a while back, but he is on and off her channel often. And I love his work, but his work is so different from anything I've ever done on my face. So I wanted to try out doing a Scott Barnes makeup tutorial. Yeah. Okay, also, I tried to curl my hair, and my hair's really short now, and I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I thought it would look really like, huh. And instead, I ended up looking like toddlers and tiaras, so here we are. And I don't love the look, but you know, she's got volume. Actually, it's kind of cute. Like, I love it at some angles, and some angles, I'm like, what did you do to your hair? You look like toddlers and tiaras. I don't know what's happening, but anyways, also, girl, we're all over the place. I just got back from Cabo and I am getting off of vacation mode, so bear with me, please. <laughs> Casey Holmes did this video specifically. She did the following Scott Barnes tutorial and I asked you guys on IG story, if you aren't following me on Instagram, girl, where you at? No, where you at? No, <laughs> okay. That's enough. I was like, what do you want me to film? And so many people were like, follow the Scott Barnes tutorial. And so I think you guys saw Casey's video and wanted me to try it. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what happened. So I wanted to give creds to Miss Casey Holmes. That sweet girl with that sweet baby. She's got a sweet baby boy. Okay, that's enough out of me. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. We're gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm so excited and nervous. And let's all just say a prayer to the makeup gods and then we'll get started. Okay, that's enough. Let's start. Let's start. I think a good old fashioned pin back of the hair would help us out. I have these little clips. Let's see if it's their industrial strength to hold all this hair. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so I have my laptop here. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to kind of peek at it and see like what was actually happening. Mr. Scott Bones, what were you doing? I'm going to use all nighter. What I like to do with this is to bring it in and you just use it to like eliminate stuff. And I'm gonna go in ham. I was pretty like, wait, wait, whenever he started because he didn't use foundation. And then I watched the video footage like two and three times and I was like, no, he for sure used foundation. You're just missing it. And then I don't think he used foundation. So he just went in with the all nighter concealer from Urban Decay. I believe this is what he used. And I actually have this right here. So he does use a lot of this to highlight the center of the face. And I just, Oh my God, this might be like the same shade he used. But I also just want to disclaim in this video that he said in that video, he's doing heavier stage makeup, makeup that's going to look good all the way around. Like from every angle, you're going to get a great look. You'll look good on film, but maybe in person you'd be like, ah. That's what he has said. And I'm going to put the concealer. It was a very light concealer. And so is this one very full coverage. So I'm going to place it right where he placed it. So let's do that. Ooh, what, is it <laughs> what if I turn out looking crazy? <laughs> Yeah, he was really specific about bringing it up on the sides of the nosy posy. He did a ton on the forehead, way more than I do, but I also don't perform on stage, so there's that. My cat's gonna yell at us the whole time because he's not getting what he wants. Okay, this is that, and then he used a brush and he started to blend it out. And he used a brush that was similar to this. He has his own brush collection if you guys wanna check that out. I'll also link Tati's video down below if you wanna check it out. It's a really great video. Woo, the coverage. This is gonna cover my whole face. I can't wait though, I'm pretty excited because it might turn out really good. It's just an interesting technique. You definitely have to use different techniques if you're doing celeb, flashy camera, a uh, red carpet than you do just like on a regular makeup look. You have to use a different technique. Her face was almost like stark white whenever he got done blending it out. So I guess I'm looking for the same kind of flavor here. I didn't expect this brush to move this concealer around as good as it is, but this brush, this one's just by YSL, but you can use like a cat ton flat foundation brush. And honey, it's moving the product. Would you guys consider us highlighted or what? Okay, next is for cream contour. So we're just jumping right into contour. Okay, I'm just gonna use a cream product. I have a couple pro products that I brought out um, because, you know, trying to be pro up in here. He specifically did this area really intensely. Maybe I should take my earrings out. I think I should, because we're about to get messy. I'm gonna start by using this shade in the Make It Forever palette. And this is just a flat kabuki brush. This one specifically is by Sigma, it's F77. Okay, so he went like this. 
Oh, I think there was some powder on this brush. I mean, he like went crazy on the jawline and I know that probably looks amazing on stage. Okay, and then we did the forehead area pretty intensely. Cheekosaurus. Oh my gosh, and he also, I wore a tube top today because he did the clavicles as well, which I'm so, I don't know, my skin tone is so much deeper. So it's like, I don't know, hopefully this will show up well with me. We'll blend it all out. But he went in, honey, in. He did not hold back. I don't know if this product's gonna blend out enough. I love the Body Blur, blur by Vita Labrata for this kind of stuff. I found it to work out like a charm, but I'm just gonna blend this, this little brush here. I might switch over to a Kabuki. Is he using a bigger Kabuki? Oh my God, no, he's using a paintbrush. This is where people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. Okay, he also painted the nose. He like went in on the contour. So today we are going in on the nosy contour. Um, so now I'm just gonna start blending all this out. I feel like his paintbrush was working a little better than mine. I'm gonna spritz this with a little bit of spray so we can get the product moving maybe. <gasps> it's actually way harder to do this part on this part specifically on yourself whenever you don't have an artist doing it for you because you see I'm like trying to rub my own chest in the mirror and I'm like, <gasps> My skin's gonna be red a little bit anytime I rub my skin, she turns a little red. This is blending out a lot better since I dampened the brush a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start blending my face, honey. I am nervous of the outcome of this. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that because I feel like I look crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I will say with this type of makeup and this type of cream makeup, you are going to be blending for a minute, mama. Oh yes. Whew. My arm is literally tired. We're gonna get there, we're gonna keep going. Ah, my hand is cramping. I cannot make this up. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is not overlining it to death. Okay, one more thing he did as well is he contoured the actual lips like this. Then he switched to like a kabuki type brush and started blending it more. So we're gonna go over to the kabuki brush which is helping immensely get this blended out. Okay, I think I blend it a little bit too much because he kind of, I add it a little more because he then went in with a foundation and kind of buffed over. He used a lighter foundation for the center and a little bit of a deeper foundation for the edges. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm just gonna use the same, could, <laughs> I'm gonna use the same Kabuki brush from Morphe. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this ABH foundation in 350N and I'm gonna do a little bit of the outer edges with it. That helps so much get everything blended and like so much softer. What a technique. So I'm just gonna drag that around. Wow, it does look really beautiful. And for the lips, he literally patted over the lips instead of really blend it. He said it was patting the lips and he contoured the edge of the lip outside of the lip. So that's exactly what I did as well. Same with the nose. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a lighter foundation and kind of do the forehead area. Maybe I should have went a little lighter with the foundation. It's okay. It's like softening up that contour a little bit. So it's like he contoured, concealed, and then add a little foundation on top. Okay, I think I look really nicely blended and I look super, super full coverage, which is what we want here. So let's move on. So now while she was talking and they were just chatting, I noticed he was just adding a little more product. So I am gonna brighten my under eye a little bit more because I feel like, I don't know why, I just feel like maybe it was the foundation I put on, but it made me a little bit not as bright in the center. So this is the Jouer New uh, Concealer that I've really been enjoying. This is shade Wheat and baby doll, I'm gonna. Scott Barnes the house and I am going to 
line it up a little bit. Just make sure the center stays super bright. I know, I know Scott Barn would like that. <laughs> he would appreciate it if I kept the center light. So that's what I'm gonna do. This concealer blends out like a dream. And I also went ahead and messed up and blended out my nose contour. Maybe I just couldn't wait, but I'll add just a hair more. Just got carried away blending. I just went on a blending spree and just said, skirt, snatched my nose right up. It's back. So as far as my nose uh, blend out, I am going to use my finger and I'm just gonna soften it up a little bit. I like to use the finger sometimes because I find that you can get really precise and you don't want to move this around too much. And as you can see, my nose looks really harsh. So what I'm going to do, where's it at? I'm going to take the Kabuki that has a little leftover foundation on her. And girl, we are just going to tap, tap, tap. And that has already softened it up so much. It looks way better. Here we go. Okay. She's a little translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her. And what that does is cancels out any kind of like little bluey, purpley stuff underneath the eye. Next up, he set the face. So I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Oh my God. And it has an eyelash in it. We can't be too surprised. He did have a little brush to set the face with. I noticed he likes to use his brush collection. Obviously that's why he created them. He likes them. And he just kind of patted and I didn't really see I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I saw like a lot of intense baking in this part. So you just kind of set the whole face, which I find very important as well, especially if you're gonna wear this heavy of makeup. Yes, ma'am. Setarina. We are going to set her. I actually noticed a little bit with the powder. Next use highlighter, I'm gonna use this glaze kit, but I noticed a little bit of the powder to brighten her. He left a little, which I like to do as well. He left a little right through here. So I just wanna make sure I'm doing what he did. Well, I just kinda of mash everything together. I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, okay. And somehow it looks so great. My fan brush, which is like, yay, big fan. And then he took a highlighter. I'm gonna, he said he mixes them all together. I'm gonna to take Logo and kinda of run it through here and mix all these. I'm to a highlighter mixer. Okay, and if you're wondering why I'm using this huge kabuki, it's because he used a huge kabuki. And if Scott uses a huge kabuki, we all do. I'm just kidding. Use whatever works for you, but today we're gonna mimic him. And girl, he went in, like he was like going in, so here we are. I mean, he said glow, so we're gonna glow. JLo does have the glow though. I mean, it's no joke. Ooh, I am like glowing all over. And so far, honestly, I really like the makeup. So let's continue. What's next? I'm very happy. I need to go places after this. <laughs> he actually did hit the brow bone with it before he did the eyeshadow, which I thought was pretty interesting. So before we move on, I do need to take a little bit of diamonds and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brow bone. Oh yes. Let's get it shimmery. The only thing is if you look at me like on camera, it might look good, but like if you look at me in person, the makeup is like definitely for stage. This is with just a little bit of powder. I hate when that looks like there's a stripe. So let's toast the edges. Right, next up we tap into powder bronzer like i said this is out of order from what i normally do but hey we're following along and i'm having fun doing it so i'm gonna take the ColourPop talk to the palm bronzer and he now toasts the edges he says so i'm just gonna take a round brush and he basically goes back over and like re-enhances that contour that i do think we lost maybe a little bit of it but girl he brings it right back so he toasts the edges I feel like I look really soft and glowy and contoured. So next up, I don't know what, I gotta watch. Let's see what's next. <laughs> okay, I just saw he tapped back into his loose powder. I'm gonna grab the Laura Mercier. I'm actually gonna do like a fluffier brush and he kind of like reset everything again, like lightly. Okay. See the fullness? Okay, and we're gonna connect the top so that it's not two peaks. It's kind of like a round. Feel what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Going out to the edge. Not, I'm taking it 
and out into the ooge. Okay, so now for a lid, which is interesting, he's a gloss and a liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a liner. Okay, after testing multiple eyeliners, I'm like trying to figure out which one matches that one the best. This is the, she's strong. Okay, this is she's strong. And I noticed he overlines just a little bit and then it's like filling this in, which I do as well. And then he does the bottom lip contour overlined a little bit. And then he fills in the corners right here. So the lips are lined. Um, it looked like he used, <laughs> look at the little lashes. They are everywhere. They haunt me. They're all over my husband, my family, my cats. They take over everything, the little lash clippings. But anyways, he takes a gloss and he adds it on, but then he specifically feathers it like <laughs> upward. I'm laughing because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you got me in a conundrum, but I trust you. I trust you, Scott. I do. I do, boo-boo. I don't trust me. I definitely don't think I have the same lip color. <laughs> I tried so hard. Okay, let me try again. <laughs> to blend that. He's like blending that liner and that lip gloss together really nicely. I need more lip, I think. The lip is pretty. I feel like I need a little eye action happening. So let's keep the party moving. This is Sarah Artistry. I use these for brows, believe it or not. I just kind of build them up slowly. Now this is a gold. I think this mm -hmm. is called Blonde Shimmer. Okay, so. We're shimmering our eyebrows. Because the whole look is kind of glistening and gorgeous, so we need to make the eyebrows match. Okie dokie, next up is brows, hallelujah. Now I'll be honest, JLo does not do the super thick, hunky chunky brow, and I'm cool with that. He used a little bit of a brow powder it looks like, not a pencil. So I just so happen to have my medium brown brow powder from ABH, and it's clearly not used because I love brow pencils, but that's okay. We're here to try a different techniques, so I'm gonna, oh, she's pigmented. I'm gonna do the brow powder as well on my brows. Okay, we have this brow filled in. If you notice, I kind of let it keep its natural shape and I didn't do too crazy because it looks like that's what scarred, squat, squat. That's what squat did with Twatty. I hope one of you guys tried this out at home. I really do. Because it seems like I'm struggling this whole video a little bit and I just want you guys to, I don't know, do this different technique with me. <laughs> On camera. <laughs> Okay, brows are powdered. Beyond Beige, mm -hmm. which this is again one of my powders, but it has shimmer in it, but a slight amount to it. And feel how I'm kind of working mm -hmm. upwards and going against it. it? Takes that sharp hardness away. Next, he went in with his own powder, which was pretty interesting to soften up the look even more. I don't have that, but I do have this powder from Jouer. This is such a great powder to do what he did with. And he literally, I'm laughing because I'm like, what? Um, but he flickered upwards to soften the jawline which most artists actually do go back and forth with a lot of cream a lot of powder and they just kind of keep playing with it until they kind of created their masterpiece going back and forth so i'm gonna do what he did with this jouet this is like um their soft focus powder it's like really great on top of foundations and really he was just blending out the harsh lines what i do with this i almost work it in a circle so one color I just want to keep reminding everybody. But what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a lighter, beigeier color, going right underneath the eye. Okay, next up we are going to do eyes, which is pretty interesting because he uses like two eyeshadow colors, but he creates this really beautiful look with the two colors, which I think that's so amazing. So I try to find some very similar colors. It was kind of hard to tell, I think. It's a hard call. I don't want to add on a color and mess up. I'm nervous about it. But I think I'm going to try out this color. It's called Cha Cha Changes. And this is from the Flutter palette from ColourPop. So I'm going to go in. It's like a warm, toasty, matte brown. And he adds it in her eyelid. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he like adds a lot of it. Like this. In her eyelid. Oh, I feel like I'm adding too much maybe. And then he blends it, but he kind of keeps it off the lid. He actually, I should be saying, he adds it to her crease, like a lot of it. And then he works on his technique here. Really softening that up, which is what I'm gonna do. This is a R39 brush from Morphe, in case you're wondering what I'm using. Again, he has his brush set, if you guys wanna check that out. I clearly need to check that out. <laughs> also, uh, this is not how I do my eyeshadow, but every single artist is different, and his look turned out beautiful, so. 
I'm gonna give it a go. If it don't turn out great, at least I can say I try. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a clean brush because I, I got a little too much up here. I think I need to soften that a little bit. This is the part where I say I don't wanna. I feel like my eye ended up a little bit higher up than his. No, maybe not, because it is pretty much touching her eyebrow. One color. He said one color. He said don't 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 start that full foolery dipping into all them colors. He said one color. Yes, ma'am. So here I go. It looks beautiful. The the face makeup, it's heavy, but it's beautiful. Um, so Scott, baby, I'm with you. Alright, I'm doing this eye over here and I'm adding a heavy amount, kind of focusing focusing I can't speak and do this. Um focusing it right into the crease and then we're just gonna make sure and soften it. He did these little tiny, tiny circles on Tati. Did I do it? I think it looks pretty good, huh? What do you guys think? Okay, and then he also, actually I need to take a smaller brush because I saw him using a smaller brush, maybe like this little E4 pencil, or E36, I'm sorry, pencil brush Morphe. And he like worked it on that outer edge right there too. And he connected it. Okay, I feel like, oh, this look already is so pretty and soft. Oh my gosh, he also lined the lower lash line as well. So he took it and brought it all the way around the town, honey. So we're just gonna go ahead and connect the lines and then bring it all the way around. Oh. All right, now we have a little bit of trickery. He took the brush that we blended. Oh. My God. He took the brush that we blended out our concealer with. I'm gonna add a little powder and he just softened. And I really like this. He softened that lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a little more of that color and just to find this area. But I'm gonna take it real close to my lashes. Yes, darling. I feel like the color's like not too far off. What do you guys think? This is another color of mine. So then he adds like a pretty shimmery color. It's kind of a hard call what the exact color was onto her eyelid. I'm trying to find something similar. I'm actually gonna go into my Nudie Patootie palette and I'm gonna mix together a little bit of Jaybird and a little bit of Topless. And it gives you this really beautiful, ooh yes, um, muted color. And he just popped it on. Ooh, it's so pretty. By the way, we're having a huge Valentine's Day sale on my site, so if you want to need a patootie palette, it's gonna be 20 bucks on Valentine's Day, so mark your calendars. 20 dollars. Oh my God, this color, I'm obsessed. I can't, I can't deal with it. That is so pretty, wow. I'm also gonna go back in with a little bit of diamond since I blend it so much on my eyelid, I feel like I need to touch that up a little bit. Okay, then we get mascara and lashes. He did do a heavier, more dramatic lash on her, so I kind of want to do the same to myself. Um, I'm gonna use Lily Lashes Miami today. You can use code Larly for money off. You so yeehaw. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that won't work. Oh my God, I almost forgot to put on mascara. What am I doing? I'm fired. This mascara I'm using is by It Cosmetics. Okay, and then he took the mascara and then he mixed the real and false lashes together, which I strongly agree with. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my lower lashes as well. Now he took a darker brown shade. I'm gonna take Butt Naked and Nakey, Nakey, and mix them together. And he just worked them on that outer corner right there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, we are almost done with this look. The only thing I would do is just add for me a little bit of liner right here, but I'm not gonna do it because he didn't and I would do the waterline, but I also like the way it looks. It looks like a really beautiful, awake, open eye, so I'm not gonna do the waterline either. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my Jouer powder and my little fluffy brush from Sigma. And he just added a little more powder just to polish it off. Wow. Wow. Okay, and I would also just hit it with a setting spray because my skin is so dry, but 
he didn't. So we're not. This is the final look. Let me look at myself real quick. Well, besides the hair. Oh my God, honestly, this is one of those things where you just trust the process because I am obsessed with the final look. It looks so beautiful. And even in person, at first I was looking a little crazy, but it is so smoothed out in person. Like everything is just like so smooth. It does not look crazy in person. It looks so good. I am shocked. I love the highlight. I did create the highlight, <laughs> so I'm a little biased, but I love the highlight. I think the eye look is beautiful and I use two eyeshadow colors plus a little bit of highlighter on my brow bone. There's a little, there we go. I love the lip. It's so simple, like a clear-esque gloss and everything. I'm obsessed. What do you guys think? You have to sound off in the comment section and let me know what you think of this look. I love the way it came out. I seriously can't believe the way it came out. So I'm a little shocked still, but I love the way it came out. I'm so pleased with it. And now I'm gonna go take pictures of myself because I love the look so much. And this look specifically will come out so great on camera. Scott Barnes, Baby Doll, and Tati, you guys did that. This look is stunning. I'm so honored to even do this video. And I love you guys to death. And thank you guys so much for being here and watching me recreate this look. I tried real hard. <laughs> I didn't have all the same products, so I'm actually gonna go see about ordering some Scott Barnes products because they perform so beautifully on Tati. But anyways, that is it for this video. Subscribe to my channel for you before you leave for more looks <laughs> like this. I love you guys. Bye.